synth drones. Today, I'm going to get into the Behringer Poly-D. It's on my screen over here. I want to talk about it a little bit and about its future. Hi, I'm Pure Ambient Drone. This is my channel where I vlog about synthesizers. Hit the subscribe button, tap the bell. Be one of my family over here because that's what you are. When you subscribe to this channel, you become family. And leave a comment, leave a like, and join me at pureambientdrone.com. The Poly D from Behringer is shaping up to be one heck of a little monster. And I'm so excited about it because even if you're not into the Model D expanded into four note capability, you might be interested in this. I believe in the future, Behringer is going to deliver a clone-like Moog machine that is gonna be fully polyphonic, but have the nice, lovely texture of perhaps the Model D or even the Memory Moog, okay? Or something similar with the Moog sound to it. And this is gonna make a lot of people happy. Why? Because right now, the only thing that is on the market that's brand new, okay, and up to date, is the Moog One. And for many, 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 many people, it's way out of reach for a synthesizer at this price range. In fact, in recent months, the Moog One has gone up past the $8,000 mark for a brand new one. Now you can get these Moog Ones on the secondhand market. I've seen them as low as $5,090, well, this is a $6,000, okay? I got mine at a really great deal too. But still, that's out of reach for a lot of people. So what I think Behringer is revving up to do is they're getting their polyphonic game moving. Now, I have their DeepMind 12 from Behringer. And personally, I think it's their best synthesizer they have ever made. It is the one synthesizer I've had throughout the years since it came out in my studio. I've never sold it, never traded it, never had to rebuy it. It is a staple. It finds its way in in almost every single one of my tracks. It's a very powerful synthesizer. And I think that with the new stuff that Behringer is doing, okay, and getting all of these old timers, maybe that's not the right word to say, but these veterans in the synth world back into the game, developing these Today synthesizers, these clones, these newer synthesizers that are up to date, I think they're going to take this technology and bring it into the 21st century and bring us a beautiful Moog polyphonic clone-like synthesizer. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. But uh, Behringer released a video, I believe it was last night, yesterday, and uh, they're showing off their uh, Poly D, and I wanted to include it here with you guys, some of the uh, parts of it at least, and let you guys listen to it and see what you think of the Poly D. comments below and tell me what you think about the Behringer Poly D. Give this video a like. Don't, don't forget to subscribe. Your support means so much to me. If you want to go deeper into my world, you need to check out my patreon.com forward slash peer ambient drone website. I got some really in-depth videos over there. I'm going to be making some more. So anyway, with that being said, keep calm and synth on.